Hello and uh, welcome to another YouTube clip. Uh, I'm, uh, it's raining so I took temporarily shelter under a roof that I could find here. Uh, I thought I was gonna talk about something but uh, I'm feeling a bit tired today. My head aches and I'm thirsty. I was exercising a lot yesterday and today I'm a bit sore. Anyways, uh, it's raining, but I'm not going to let that stop me from talking about crowdfunding. Um, I'm uh, interested in crowdfunding because of several reasons. Uh, one is, uh, I think to some extent, the VC market doesn't work. It uh, It's... Uh, a bit broken and in, in, in any case uh, VCs and angel investors aren't really interested in small projects uh, uh, but, uh, but that doesn't mean that uh, some, some small projects uh, can be profitable and uh, are worth uh, investing in so for all these projects uh, uh, that are smaller than a typical angel investor would be interested in there is no real way of uh, finding funding today except for, for sa using savings or going to the bank but uh, uh, that, that's a global problem I would say so that's where crowdfunding fits in it's, a, it's an investment model for, um, for all of those uh, entrepreneurs and uh, inventors uh, that um, who maybe just need 100k to get started with uh, whatever they're planning to to build or or uh, um, sell. So crowdfunding. What's interesting is uh, another thing that is interesting about crowdfunding is it all takes place online. So all of a sudden the world is your market, well the world is your funding market if you like. Uh, anyone from anywhere theoretically could invest in your company. I guess the, the rules and regulations for this sort of matters uh, differ from uh, country to country. But in theory, no matter where you're located, you will be able to, uh, to uh, raise capital through these platforms which is sort of interesting in itself I mean just think about it some guy wants to build a, a restaurant in uh, in Minneapolis and he gets funding from I don't know some guy in Sydney another dude in uh, in Cape Town and uh, as uh, you know uh, it's pretty uh, pretty interesting now uh, with the equity crowdfunding market uh, what I'm asking myself is once people have invested in these companies how will they be able to buy and sell their shares I mean uh, how who is gonna take care of the li liquidity it seems to me like if you release uh, equity platforms uh, and that's about to happen in the US from 2013 then you also need uh, platforms where uh, where people can uh, trade the shares uh, effectively just like shares are be being tra traded on Nasdaq uh, today I may be wrong but uh, if, if anyone knows uh, about this uh, just send me an email or call me and uh, let me know uh, but it's, it seems to me that uh, if there are platforms for raising capital in small companies uh, for small companies then there need to be platforms for trading shares in small companies too uh, I don't know if that is legal today um, uh, I haven't seen any platform for that purpose but that doesn't mean there isn't one out there I'm not omniscient <laughs> uh, or am I? no, just kidding or am I? <laughs> no, maybe. No, no. <laughs> okay, let's continue. Uh, so, where were we? Yeah, the internet. Um, uh, the, uh, I think the past uh, 10 or 20 years, the internet has been mostly about 
decentralizing information. But what's going to happen now is that the internet is about to start decentralizing the financial services. And I have no idea whatsoever how that is going to end. Uh, as a European, I sometimes feel like I'm on the wrong side of history because uh, Europe is a, uh, a continent with a horrible history of uh, nationalism and uh, imperialism and so on. And uh, it's, uh, it's probably the most political continent, if you like. So if the internet is about to, and I believe that it is about to, uh, start decentralizing the financial sector uh, with its strong ties to government, governmental agencies, then eh, I'm not sure that I, that I want to be in Europe. Uh, uh, I think this is a long process, it could take hundreds of years, but uh, for certain companies and individuals um, change may come rapidly, much more rapidly. Uh, but uh, personally I believe that the era of uh, the national state is about to come to an end and be replaced by a new type of economical system. So what, what we're seeing with crowdfunding is just the beginning of a, of a very very big change uh, in the way humans interact. Uh, it's not it's probably not only a, an economical change, but also a sociological change. So um, I'm just trying to get on the right side of history here. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. I shouldn't. Uh, I shouldn't uh, speculate too much. Let's uh, focus on the hard facts. Uh, crowdfunding. Equity crowdfunding in the US will become a reality from 2013. It is already a reality in the UK and in France. Companies are actually raising money through those platforms. And uh, more countries are, pro are to follow uh, uh, without doubt. Uh, some countries will, might uh, deregulate in order to make it legal to create platforms like this. but. Um, uh, and in other countries entrepreneurs might find a way of acting within current legislation but um, it's a growing phenomenon uh, and the, the type of crowdfunding that we've seen so far on, on platforms like Kickstarter and Indiegogo uh, might actually benefit from, uh, from uh, equity crowdfunding uh, uh, becoming reality there might be spillover effects from from uh, one type of crowdfunding to the other and so on anyways uh, it's uh, still a bit rainy here in northern scandinavia i'm considering leaving the continent um, for a warmer uh, country <coughs> i'm uh, about to uh, to walk home uh, it's uh, this is one of one other reason that I'm considering leaving. It's uh, May and only let's say five or seven degrees uh, above zero. Streets are empty. There uh, there are uh, I think. Uh, uh, Sometimes I I wish I were somewhere where, where it uh, it's easier to to meet people and uh, or just sit on the beach or or uh, go swimming or something like that. Uh, but that's another story. <coughs> hey guys, talk to you later. And uh, <laughs> sorry if I interrupt a bit sharply here, but. Uh, 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 I'm just trying to talk about crowdfunding here. I'm a bit tired today, so uh, sorry if I sound a bit dull. I, I will make new vi YouTube uh, clips and videos within, within short. Uh, see you later.